What's going on with you? I'm the Cali Effect. And I'm TJ. And today we're going to be going over Fluffles versus Lightsworn. It was pretty fun. It was, it was really fun. We had a really good test game. And this is going to be the first time we're going to co-commentate a live duel. So. That's facts. Yeah, uh, TJ, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, uh -huh. good luck. <laughs> Let's <laughs> jump on it. It is an amazing day for Yu-Gi-Oh! As we get to watch Fluffles versus Lightsworn in an action-packed match gonna be really fun right oh yeah i'm <laughs> definitely excited for this so it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and start off first by activating foolish burial goods and i gotta give it to fluffles um when we first played this game or played these two decks i wasn't 100 sure what to expect out of the strategy i'm gonna find toy vendor to the graveyard it's gonna allow me to search a fluffle dolphin and really i'm just trying to figure out some sort of combo going first so i'm hoping tj doesn't necessarily catch me fluffle dolphin is going to set that toy vendor and allow me to send another fluffle monster from the deck to the graveyard did you know that i think with this particular hand i could have ended on a bahama truck totally or i'm sorry a totally awesome a true king of all calamity and an apolosa really yeah i no, well maybe not with this particular hand but the makings of it if you have uh the you know the foolish burial goods right you know uh you also need a fright for patchwork yes and uh any dolphin, dog, whatever, you get that whole board. Wow, so it's like a three-card combo. Yeah, oh. yeah it's, pre it's, it's really good. dope. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really dope. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of finessing, getting Fluffle Wings to the graveyard, uh, using its effect to uh, banish Fluffle Bear, draw a card, uh, send Toy Vendor to the graveyard, draw another card, and then trigger Toy Vendor. I know you were reading that like, is that once per I turn? Was, yeah, I was <laughs> hoping it was once per turn, and you were just like, no. Nope. Nope. And I was like, nah, man, I'm going to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So the card that I sent off a toy vendor's effect previously was a fright for repair. I'm going to use this effect to special summon Fluffle Penguin to my side of the field. Fluffle Penguin allows me to special summon Fluffle Dog and Fluffle Dog adds a Fluffle Monster or Edge of Sabers. And this was just so good for you in this point. It gave you so much advantage at that Bro, point. It, it was it amazing. Play. It was amazing. Yes. yes. <laughs> like, I think the only regret <laughs> is not adding a Fluffle Sheep. Ah. Because I still think in this combo sequence, I can at least, like, at least make Apollosa the Bow Goddess with four negates. Right. And, and that's pretty huge. Yeah, and possibly a uh, totally awesome. Exactly. So Polymerization is going to fuse Fluffle Cat and Edge of Scythe. Or maybe I did need that Fluffle Monster. It's going to make Fright for Cruel Well. And Cruel Well allows me to destroy one card on both players' sides of the field. Uh, unfortunately, you have no cards on the side of the field. Yeah. <laughs> but it is going to trigger the effect of my cross sheep uh, to be able to special summon a monster to the graveyard. And also the effect of Fluffle Penguin, since it was sent to the graveyard for a fusion summon, I can draw two cards and then discard one. The effect of Cruel Well will also send another Fright for Repair to the graveyard. Now, that obviously I can't use on this turn, but, you know, it's great for later. Exactly. The fact that you just had this many resources off of a couple of cards is making Fluffles look really great. Bro, it, it, it's pretty dope. It is, it is. <laughs> I did not expect uh, this strategy to gain so much from just a couple of cards. It, it, three cards. Yeah. Three cards allows me to do, like, so much. Oh, yeah. And uh, this time around, I'm going to make the Bahamut Shark. Uh, Bahamut Shark is going to detach a material. I think I know why I couldn't fuse. I couldn't get Edge of Chain to my hand. Ah, uh, so you I, needed that Fluffle. I, you couldn't get the extra. Okay, mm -hmm. I, ne I needed the Fright for Fusion to make another Cruel Well so I can make the True King of All Calamities. Right. So I'm going to have to settle for an Apollosa to Bow Goddess with three Negates and a Totally Awesome. So... Not I mean, too bad. Really good. I yeah, mean, for yeah. the hand that I had, I... And going first, mm -hmm. first turn. I mean, normally Fluffles don't even have a first turn. Do yeah, they? no, they never did before. Yeah, so that's going to be my end of my turn with a card phase down. It's up to you, TJ. So I'm going to start out with the Foolish Burial. Um, here, I need to get to, like, the Light Swarms, but... Um, I don't think I'm going to let that happen. No, you don't. You <laughs> totally awesome it, and I kind of just cry, and then you go, I'm going to set it anyways. <laughs> and I'm just like, well... Thanks. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even going to lie. That That's a jerk move because it, it allows me to get the Fluffle Penguin to it my does, because it's water. So I'm going to go for the raid in. I'm going to try to do the mill, see if I can get anything off. Um, truthfully, at this point, I think I was pretty set, but I just wanted to see what I could get. And Ooh. the Minerva really helped. The Minerva really? What, what, did, what did you get I, off the Minerva? Don't like, remember. Two, oh, Chaos, Chaos Space. Oh, yeah. God. Chaos Space. That's and pretty that good. And that helps so much right mm -hmm. there because uh, that's just resources back. Mm hmm and we're gonna go for the black serpent which is just gonna allow me to go into my blaze yeah that that's actually really good you can it go is. to your hockle fibers combo exactly and then i get the white dragon and the hockle fibers will be one so it's oh yeah, you popping you popping i did 
I, I like the thing that I like about this particular sequence right now is that you use Black Dragon. As the block. Yeah, yes. so like you chain blocked me. Yeah. But if I didn't, you would have got White Dragon and to your so end. much advantage. Bro, I mean, it just went, and you had the Chaos Space in yes. Brave, yes. bro. So that, I can still get it back regardless. That was hot. I got to give it to you. That was hot. So here, uh, I banished for Valkyrie. Uh, I'm just trying to go for my plays at this point. I need monsters on board, so uh, she was the only monster that I could summon right away. That didn't matter. Oh, I see you attacking into my uh, Opelosa. Yeah, yes. so that negate that helped really much, and I had to get over the Opelosa to do more stuff. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I'm not gonna allow you to do that. I no, can't. No, you, no, you couldn't. <laughs> There's like no reason for you not to. Yeah, I gotta use that Edge of Scythe to be able to fuse that and the Fluffle Penguin that I added to my hand. To be able to fight for cool ones. Exactly, to pop. Yeah, so like, the the, the 50, the catch 50 that you put me in. Yeah. Is really. that if I allowed that black dragon to go off. Oh. I'm, I'm, like, the Apollosa won't matter. You'll yeah, just yeah, summon yeah. enough, you'll do the whatever you want. It won't matter either. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it would not matter. But, so I had to negate it. And then you summon a monster bigger than mine. So like, I have to get rid of the Volcano. Exactly. And this is just like not advantage because I wanted to save the cruel well for your link cross. But the fact of the matter is, is the Valkyrie goes to the graveyard and I get more advantage off of being in the graveyard than it being on the field. You do. Yeah. You do. It's very unfortunate. But so I, I wasn't too mad about losing it, honestly, at that point. I was actually kind of happy. I was like, man, this is going to get me that Arc Lord Christy I need. Lucky you. <laughs> I'm going to be able to trigger the effect of both my Fluffle Penguin and my Toy Vendor. Instead of using Cruel Well to be able to destroy itself, I destroy my face down Toy Vendor instead, which allows me to get a Fluffle Monster. And then, of course, Fluffle Penguin was used for a fusion summon so I can or draw two cards. Edge Oh, you're right. Or, Vendor or, does get Edge Imps. It's Edge No, it's Edge Sabers. Sabers. It has to be Sabers. It yes. can't be anything else. When I read that, it, it was depressing. I know. <laughs> but it was so good back in the day. You were like, man, the only edge imp. And it gets it. It was the only, oh. at that point in time, it was literally the only edge imp until edge imp chain came out. Of our, exactly. Or a good card for edge imp chain, chain came out. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So. I think it's still your turn. Yes, you're, you're it's still, still my playing. turn because it was in the main phase. This and is stupid. I asked you, I was like, so we're still in main phase, right? And you're like, yeah. Yeah, because I have to use edge imp. And I was like, okay, phase. cool. No. <laughs> No, what are you doing? Put your graveyard back. No. Oh, man. I told you the Valkyria was needed in graveyard more so. Oh, here comes the Chaos Creator. Wow, that, that's the dope. The Chaos Creator is going to activate. The Valkyria is going to activate, which is going to dump the Arc Lord Christia for me, and then I'm going to summon. I got to negate this. Yep. I have no choice. No. Because if yeah. you do send Arc Lord Christia to the graveyard, it's game. You, you could, you could, I, you, I don't know what you have in hand. You could have a monster. It doesn't reborn. matter. You can't do anything. Yeah, like it, it could be, I don't want that Arc Lord Christia on the field. So that, that's, you know, I'm forced to negate just a, a fake card, pretty yes, much. That, yes. That's not cool. And so now the effect of Chaos Creator is going to activate. I can't stop that. No. I can't. Because if I do stop it, you'll be able to play Hakla Fibers. Exactly. Oh, man. I put you in such a huge predicament here. <laughs> you know, the crazy <laughs> thing is that if I had that extra Fluffle Sheep, obviously I wouldn't have been able to make this board. But but I would have had that extra oomph on Apollos. Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. And here I'm just deciding on what I want to summon. Uh, I, I don't think I'm clear between the Minerva or the Valkyria. but I Does it matter? Not that I know of. I think I was just really picky this day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Chaos Valkyria must be special in my card. Oh, I think it did matter because Minerva was a tuner. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. So Chaos Creator is going to tackle my Apollos, so we see that. And uh, you can't get over my fight for Cool Rel. No, but I didn't, it didn't matter at that point. I wasn't too mad about it. I, yeah, because I go off on my plays. Okay. So I'm going to go for the two tokens, and then uh, I think I go for the Metal Marcher. Yep. It looks like you're going with normal Hawk. And then I think place. I'll go for the Herald. Are you going to get the token? Uh, I don't think so. Why not get the token? You don't, you because don't. Then I don't get the tune. <laughs> <laughs> I try, guys. I try. I remember asking you that. You I, I think that's exactly why I didn't pick the Minerva either, because I was looking at the, the uh, Metal Marcher like, uh... Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Is, oh, you have a tuner. And, okay, yes. so it did matter. You're yes. right. It did matter. It did matter. So you're going to make the Borload Savage. Borload Boy? Ah, that's unfortunate. And then I'm going to attach the Hockey Boy because it's the highest link in there and I want the most counters yeah. and the most attack. And then, yeah, I go for the Herald. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie. That That's a pretty dope board after playing through what? Uh, 
four disruptions. You yeah. played through a totally awesome Monopolos of the Bow Goddess two times. Three and then times? A cruel two Will. Times. Yeah, you, you played two Opolos, yeah. Because you two Opolos in the game. Three to one to game. Well, technically three Opolos in the gates. Just because I didn't get to use it didn't mean that it I didn't mean, exist. Yeah, it still exactly. existed. Yes. <laughs> and then I go for the chaos space, try to get that extra advantage, putting back uh, I believe it was Black Dragon. I think that's what I put back. Okay. I mean, if you put back the... That, yep. Yeah. The, I put back the that's track. pretty... That's smart. Because the Levianir went to the bottom of your exactly. deck already. Mm -hmm. And so did the Minerva. Yeah, that's... You You basically have a free graveyard to do combos all over. Yep. Right mm -hmm. So I, I have to give it to you. I admire you being able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! But I don't know if you left the Herald to, like, be a chump blocker. Like, to make sure you can't lose this game. Or if you just forgot that my Crow Wall was 29 under attack. Mm, both. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both. A little, a little bit of both. <laughs> so, like, my, my crew will obviously, like, I think that's the only line of play. Cali Effect, don't do anything else. Yeah, yep. just attack the I'm going to switch to crew well to attack, <laughs> and I'm going to attack over the Herald of Arclight. I mean, it was a free monster for you. Yeah, So, yeah. I, I don't think it doesn't hurt you in any Plus, way. Plus, it also forces you go, to go battle phase, and I don't take more damage. I don't lose more of a board from battle. <laughs> that's fair. So, you know, and it forces you to break it in main phase, too, and it's like, do you really want to break it at that point? You know? Yeah, I, I, like, I don't have a choice it's i like, mean yeah but how far are you gonna break it that it really matters fair well i mean it does allow me to use that foolish burial that i somehow yeah. happen to a cure yeah. so well, it's not. in a weird white sleeve i don't know how, I don't that, know happened. how that happened <laughs> i just want my card back <laughs> even mentioned it to you you still put it in your graveyard <laughs> hey hey i wanted to keep card bro it's a nice it was a literal second before you put it in the graveyard i was like i want my card it's back. a nice foolish burial it is a nice it's foolish. a super rare from from the astro pack yeah or ots pack or whatever I, you should know you see it all the time <laughs> <laughs> so with that foolish burial, I'm going to send Egypt Sabres from my deck to the graveyard. I thought I added it to my animal. Like, Whoa, that's not how it works. And then I'm going to follow up with normal summoning Fluffle Penguin. Fluffle Penguin allows me to special summon a Fluffle monster to my side of the field. So crazy that they have a double summon in the form of a monster. Bro, it, it's it's not even like a when this card is summoned. It's, a, it's an ignition effect. Yes. I can activate that whenever. Like, So I can use this Fluffle Bear to get the toy vendor and then send the toy vendor to the graveyard. Exactly. Search what I want. That's ridiculous. Yep. So I'm gonna activate this toy vendor and here's where I realize I don't have fluffle wings in my graveyard. Yep. I thought I had it. And you don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I probably like... You were thinking from the turn before when you already banished I it. was, I was. Yeah. I thought I put a second one for some reason. Don't know why. But um, if this was fluffle dolphin, I guess my whole combo would have still been pretty much the same yeah. thing. So yeah, we're gonna use it to special summon Fluffle Dog. So I guess it didn't matter because Fluffle Dog allows me to search. Wings. What did you use? To, what did you borrow load Savage Negate? I'm just realizing I I'm don't popping remember. off. Remember? Oh man, I'm pretty sure you guys will let us know in the comment section. Oh no, you negated my Fluffle Penguin. I remember yes. this, and I used Fright for Repair in yes. the graveyard. I was trying to stop you from summoning, and yes. You yes. know what? That that is smart because normal Fluffle builds don't play Fright for Repair at two. But if you check the graveyard, you know. Yeah, but even so, it forces you to uh, protect at that point instead of another Cruel Whale or anything else. You know, like yeah. It's like, do you have it? Yeah. I, I, you know, I can get behind that. Toy Vendor is going to find a fright for patchwork, but, you know, Fluffle Wings is already in the graveyard. That was the main function of Toy Vendor. I'm going to draw a card, send Toy Vendor to the graveyard, draw Talk another card, and search. search. Like, it's... Man. That is probably the most ridiculous thing about Fluffles. Like, draw two and search. Oh, yeah, just the way that they recycle two through their, like, deck and the, like, fact that they could just grab so many resources at once. Mm -hmm. And they're not hindered ever in resources unless they just absolutely have no way of seeing it. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy. So, like, in terms of fusion decks, I mean, obviously, we know decks like Shadal, you, you, they have to sit on the top. Yes. But if we were to say a top five fusion decks, do you think Fluffle, like, just how they just play, especially with the new Cruel Well, would you put them in top five? Easy. One reason is because of Cross Sheep itself. It's one of the only fusion decks that's able to play Cross Sheep and abuse it. Yeah, other than Shut All. Uh, right. Yeah, like this one does it really, exactly. really well. It's like you're not going to want to play it in um, in Boker. You're not mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. Blue Eyes. You're <laughs> not going to play it in anything else. Imagine you know? Blue Eyes is a real fusion <laughs> deck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, what other fusion decks do you have out there? You're right. You don't have much. So this time around, I'm going to polymerize the Edge Gym Chain and Fluffle Penguin. I think I win right here. Because that's another Frightful Cruel Well to my side of the field. Taking advantage of that Borlode Savage Dragon in the gate. Um, being able yes. to summon them. And keep in mind, they can uh, gain go up to 3,900 attack. And their effects are not once per turn. Uh, Fluffle Penguin will activate. I'll draw two and discard one. I feel like I've done this three turns. It's good. <laughs> I, yeah. I've done it all three turns. Yeah. I did it your turn yeah. and both of my turns. Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah, I don't even know why you haven't picked up sticks yet. My monsters are stronger than yours. My monsters are better than yours. Because I don't know either. Actually, uh, yeah. I think I know. Well, I asked you and you was like, no, I won't flex. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember saying that. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't remember saying that at all. I, I wish y'all could see his face. I, right. I don't think that was something I would say. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't be like, oh, man, you know, just stay and let, let Fluffles play. It looks, like, really awesome, and it gets the viewer's attention, and maybe they'll see that Fluffle deck profile and be like, the Cali effect is awesome. I, I didn't say that. Listen here. If you could see his face right now, <laughs> you would know he was, just like, gaming. Hard. Gaming. They gaming. don't know gaming oh, yet. They don't know gaming. Oh. Y'all catch on. So, so I, I think there was a little bit, like, I did this weird because Fright for Cruel Well should have activated on Summon to Destroy as Borlode Savage. But obviously me and TJ have that understanding, especially when we play games. Yes. Uh, a lot of times this game, I, I want to say, took a week to produce. Like it did. we were going like we were playing mad games. It was fun actually this I time I around. Was here, like five days out of the week. Yeah, it was it was yeah. crazy trying to get yeah. you guys a great game. So sometimes those type of miscommunication errors are not necessarily a miscommunication error. We they communicate well, but yeah. you guys, you know, may see something different. Correct. So going in game two, I think you get to go first after taking all your I'm life points. Not going to let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> fair. So fair. here I'm gonna start off with the Raiden. It's gonna allow me to dump two, and uh, unfortunately I dumped that Levian here again. And but that, fortunately I dumped the Jet Sinker on right from the start. Mm -hmm. Valkyria is obviously just there to get me to the Hall of Fabric, <laughs> but it's even more advantage because later on I'm going to use it. So this O Lion is obviously the normal, just normal Hall of Fabric exactly. Mm -hmm. Um. And then from here, I, I just played light one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're you're right. Like so, it doesn't do much different. The crazy thing about light Sworn, or the thing that I like about light Sworn right now, um, I know some people aren't fans of the Hawkle Fibers combo, but do you want to play competitive? Yes. Yes. And I mean, the Hawkle Fibers combo is what's like holding light Sworn as a competitive deck together Correct. right now. Because it literally says, hey, if you can put a tuner, which is Felice, Raiden, Minerva, yeah. in, in a non-tuner, which is Lumino, Wolf, you Anything, can yeah. you can literally go full combo. And it's like... Exactly. And allows you to play Yu-Gi-Oh! instead of just playing... Like, yeah, like, nobody wants to end on a Minerva exceed and pass. Never. Like, that's... Never. Unfortunately, that's not going to cut it in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! When we nope. do our... um Yeah. Uh, theme duels. I mean, sure. We'll, we won't play Hockle Fibrics. Correct. So here I went for the uh, Marcher just to get the Raiden back and in order to get that play. I did not use the O-Lion token if I remember correctly because oh, why I don't you know do why. Oh, no, I yeah, there it is, there it is. I was thinking about it. I was it. like, why wouldn't you do that? That's free. I was free. just thinking about it. Yeah. So like Light Sworn's goal at this current time is to get three light monsters for Curious if you have enough extenders in hand. Correct. You can wind up on Nightmare Griffin, Borlode Savage, um, Herald. Herald. Herald and sometimes even on Arc Lord Christian, right? Yes. It, yes. It's ridiculous. The deck is stupid. Like, and that's different from the normal Hockle Fibers combo. It is. See. It is. So here I'm going to summon the Diana. Um, that's going to trigger your Vault Crate. Exactly. All right, perfect. It, so I can dump the Arc Lord Christia prior and then not have to worry about it later. Smart. So if I could get to dumping the Christia now. <laughs> <laughs> I always take so slow, man. You, G, who edits these to make them look better? I don't know, man. But whoever does, they they do a great job. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done. So actually, I, I think you actually deviate from the combo sequence because you don't have the space. A, yeah, if I were all the the extenders. Correct. I don't yeah. Know. Well, I didn't have the monster space. I believe. That's the thing. Okay. Well, oh no, you're going into the Curious. No, no, yes. it looks like you might be. But if I remember correctly, you do deviate. I mean, I've seen I, this I game. I think I dump it times. anyways, but I do deviate. Okay, so. Because there's no reason not to dump it and just have it there anyways. Yeah, the, the Imperial Order is obviously going to go to the Graveyard. Exactly. Like 100%. So there's no reason not to have it in the Graveyard. Because at some point, I could still go for the Griffin and set it anyways. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why leave it in there to draw it if I want it in the Graveyard? Fair, fair. I might as well just let it go. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes drawing the Imperial Order hard, against Fluffles. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it would be great if I had it. First if you, time. yeah, if you could, if you could, certain. Don't get start. me wrong, yeah, that's a hundred, especially since you can normally co-link it exactly. to a barricade board blocker, so you're not discarding anything. Correct. Really. So I'm gonna go ahead and mill here for the curious. It was really nothing serious, I don't believe. Chaos space, charge the light brigade, Diana. Yeah. That's all right. It's yeah, chaos space isn't gonna matter too much in this moment. Um, it might come up later, where it really would have mattered, but um, at this time it doesn't. Are you going for Herald right now? Yes, I am. I think I misplay and I go for the Herald, and then I try to summon the Christian. I just can't. Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I know you can't discard now. 
unless it's a non-monster. No, it looks like you're just going for the... It, no, maybe you don't have full combo. Maybe this is what we were thinking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, maybe I didn't have full combo when I... I you just, uh, you I know... This is that game. Yep, yes. this is the this one. Is you you don't have full combo, but you still have an Herald of Arclight Negate. Correct. A Chaos Dragon Levayer near to bring yes. out the Arc Lord Fistia. Yes. So this, I was thinking of a different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way different game. You could have made the Nightmare Griffin in the main monster zone, but that would be really... I mean, that just wouldn't be great. Good, yeah. Yeah, like, because I could just summon a monster to where it points to, and exactly. ta-da, I'm, like, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! still. Exactly. <laughs> so I think from here I just pass, because... First turn and there's nothing else to do after I just summon a Christie on you. So this is a really, 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 really good board. Like, you don't have a lot of protection. Like, you don't have the Boar Load Savage Dragon. Yeah, Obviously, because you didn't have gates. the extenders and what. But you do have you have the Herald of Arclight, which, you know, like you said, it's not negates, but it, it's something. Right. I'm going to normal summon Fluffle Owl. I want to check to see if you want to use Herald. You're not, which is smart. Yeah, I mean, no reason to. You can stop the polymerization, or you can you let the polymerization go through. You can't even summon because of Christia. Oh, yeah. Why would I stop it? I, I completely forgot about that. I, I just can <laughs> Christia no just yeah, didn't yeah. exist to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm going to set some cards face down. I know you had your eyebrow, like, what are you doing? And then I that's did. when Forbidden that. Dropway comes through. This card is amazing. Yeah. It's a godsend from I the... I look at it for a hot second, like, what is this? Bro, oh, I remember <laughs> when I first played. I don't even think we're playing it right. It just seems so good. Yeah, yeah. It allows you to send cards from your hand or field to the graveyard. I'm going to send the Fluffle Owl. And the Toy Vendor. Mm -hmm. it, bro, it's just nuts. Bro, and I sent the Fright for Repair. Yes. Like, uh, you can use its graveyard or its uh, hand effect to, you know, get a Fluffle from the graveyard or whatever. Or you can use its graveyard effect, which is going to get me... You know, the vendor is going to get me the card I want to summon. Exactly. So, like, I'm going to roll. And your monster effects are negated. Yes. Christy yes. is negated. Herald's oh, negated. All the big monsters I needed to mm -hmm. basically be active are negated at this point. So, so it allows you to play. Yeah, so Repair is going to find me Penguin. Penguin is going to fly and Fluffle Doggo. And now, oh, he's such a cute doggy. He's going to use Doggy's effect to get the Fluff away. Hey, you don't you don't you do that to me. <laughs> you, is that a cute doggy? Look, we're not talking about Doggo right now. It's a dog with wings. It's the way you spoke about Doggo. It's such a cute doggy. <laughs> and now I'm going to polymerize uh, the Fluffle Wings, a Edge and Sabers. Oh, I remember this is when I had to think for a while because I had to cut that out. I'm going to fuse that, the Fluffle Dog, and the Fluffle Penguin. You're only going to see those two because I ain't doing all that work. But still, <laughs> Fight for Tiger is going to be able to blow up his entire board. Like... Yes. <laughs> that that like was dope because there, I don't think drop it lasts forever. No, I don't, it's like it doesn't, and I, <laughs> you need to get rid of those cards if you want to like all, continue. All your monsters are stronger than mine, and I have no way to another polymerization right now. So so the Christian <laughs> goes back to the top of the deck, and uh, everything else gets destroyed. No, no, you get to keep your token. I remember, you know, yes, I, yes. I miscommunicated with you. I was like, it destroys everything. Forgot your token does exist. I remember you actually wanted to scoop from this. I did, and then you were just like, no, man, play it out. Yeah, I was like, I mean, because anything can happen. Any, literally, I anything. I just didn't see it at that moment. I mean, I like. just happened to draw the perfect card Okay, so, so fair, to, to be fair, without spoiling it, you are the sackiest Light Sword player I have ever Light played in player my life. or player? You are the sack, well, you're the sackiest player, period. In, yeah. You're the sackiest <laughs> player, period. But you are the sackiest. I remember one time when we were younger, way way back in the day he wouldn't mill yeah. triple wolf and i'm just like how or or i draw triple reju oh my no no see that he is the sackiest player so fluffle penguin is gonna allow me to draw two cards and then i'll have one. yeah i have to discard one card which is a tough decision because right now I, I got the sauce yeah, I'm like yeah. i just want to keep them if i could keep them I, you're not playing Yu Gi Oh. i know unfortunately that's not you know that's not the occasion i'm gonna attack with the fluffle tiger over his token and that's going to be the end of my turn. I have really nothing left. All right. So it's my turn now. Um, I'm going to draw here. Kind of look at some stuff. And I really wanted to, like... So I drew the Christia back. And I was checking for fairies, even though I knew there was not four fairies. And I tried to scoop. <laughs> we don't even play four fairies. No, no. So I tried to scoop. And, you know, Callie was like, no, don't scoop. I need friends and content. We, we got to go. Like, please don't do this. <laughs> that's, I convinced him not to scoop because he's a sack artist, guys. This man, I swear, he will pull magic tricks out his hat completely. And one of those right here is that Raiden. Don't tell me about this, Raiden. Oh, my. Oh. And then I build the wolf and the Felice. I wanted, I wanted to keep this out of my brain, but apparently I have to relive nightmares. <laughs> so, milling the wolf and the Felice? Hey, bro. Game's rigged. Ain't Game's rigged. Ain't rigged. I can do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, that's what you guys say, right? That's so That's exactly what they say. <laughs> I think you're synchroing into uh, Cata Dragon Magic Ruler? Some, whatever his name is. So I excavated the top five, basically milling at this point, even though it says excavate. This um, is really good. It is really good because I believe I grabbed the Valkyria? Mm. I don't remember. No, no, no. It wouldn't make sense to grab the Valkyria. No, I think it's the white dragon. You have to, yeah, it's the white. It has to be white. white. Unless you don't have any darks. The, I thought I thought I, I thought about the Valkyria. <laughs> and yeah, so the, the best option was the white because then I could just eventually banish the Valkyria yeah. anyways. Mm hmm. So I think personally, you obviously looked at your graveyard to check if you had darks. You do have it in the living yes. area. And that, that pretty much sets you up. Exactly. I mean, some of that white dragon gonna allow me to make my plays into the hulky boy like we saw for the last two games no oh you, 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 yeah you yes, use the hulk boy yeah, yeah, yeah. yes that's right so the borlow savage is gonna attach the oh yeah i gotta get the black dragon the black dragon first oh i think you are gonna attach the hulk though like you were saying i think it's the hulk because that i don't remember no i went into curious oh you I'm got to attach the curious. curious yes so i'm gonna have three counters <laughs> and <laughs> if i remember correctly i just said so you I might just attack. I might make something. Or if you have, if you have Chaos Creator, I swear you were the sackiest. I don't even know how you would have Chaos Creator, but you were the sackiest sack artist. I'm definitely looking for a play here. Wait a second. And I know myself, and there's something coming. No, it looks like you're attacking. Yeah. I mean, it don't even matter. I, I have two cards in my hand. I, I need a mirror. It's not like you can't negate it with Borlo. I'm just exactly. gonna go ahead and scoop. So, yeah. uh, we're just gonna have to hit that game three. <laughs> So game three, I get to go first. I'm gonna activate Fluffle Bear. We're already starting off with a really good hand finding a toy vendor. Um, hopefully I have Fluffle Wings in my hand because you know, draw three. Oh, I thought you said Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one thing I have noticed is that all of the Fluffle Monsters have wings. Yes, of some sort. Yeah, that's or pretty cool. Or they're like, uh, the, the fusions are usually cut open in some way. That That's very, very weird to say but yeah, yes, it is yeah no no i mean i'm just saying you know what somebody said in the comment section that it looks like uh sid toys from uh toy story i was thinking more of a freddy uh five nights at freddy's oh i haven't seen friday i haven't is that a game or a show it's, or it's a game and it's based off of a bunch of stuffed animals oh like nightmare oh. animals so this is five nights at freddy meets sid's things from toy okay yep. so konami definitely is getting in with american lore five nights at freddy american yep. all right konami's definitely getting there so I am going to make the flight for shark, and right now I don't have the best hand, but I'm going to try- so cruel. <laughs> You're so bad. You're so bad. It's not even a shark, it's a well, but still, I'm going to try to navigate this hand by sending the fright for repair from my deck to my graveyard, using fright for repair to get me an additional summon. My monster of choice is going to be Fluffle Doggo. Uh, Doggo will add a Fluffle monster from my deck to my hand. Do you have Nibiru? I wish. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I uh, wish I did. So I think I'm gonna win then. Yeah. Good luck. I, I don't. I don't think you're gonna win. I think I'm okay. gonna win straight up. Keep telling yourself that. Look, look. I mean, what are you gonna do to calamities? What does Ice One do to calamities? Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're gonna cry. So, anyways, uh -huh. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have any Edgeant monsters, so I have to go to Edgeant Sabers, or at least I don't think I have any Edgeant monsters. Um, that would be you the reason. Get one out of your sleeve. <laughs> I'm banned to keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this is definitely an interesting sequence. That toy vendor is going to discard. You already know. The wings. Yep, you already know. I always got to have that wings on that. Is it buffalo? <laughs> buffalo wild wings. <laughs> I'm going to hit a toy vendor. That's, like, the next best thing. If you can't hit a fluffle monster off a, a toy, toy vendor, vendor, toy vendor off a toy vendor is amazing. Um, with this, I don't know what I'll get. Fluffle dog. Okay, so I'm preparing for the next turn. Yep. So right here, if I remember my hand very vaguely, again, like I said, it's not a great hand, but uh, Light Sworn doesn't really have any natural counters to True King of All Calamities, so uh, as long as I can summon True King of All Calamities, he can't really do much. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fish for deeper combos, banishing Fluffle Bear and Fluffle Wings. Are you gonna send your vendor, bro? Yeah, of course. Come on, I wanna draw more cards. Why do you? Why, Why do I send vendor? There? Huh? Why not just leave it Because I want more cards. But. You could just leave it there. So it's I'll draw hard. one. I'll send vendor, draw one, and search. Is that okay? But think about it. Even if you don't send it, then you don't lose a card that you need to gain. You know, you're right. You're right. But I need to gain that card so I can lose. You're right. No, wait, wait. Time <laughs> out. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you peeky in the brain of me, bro. That was a big brain right there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get Fluffle Cat. And um, 
So look, if I would've got Fruffle Sheep, I could've summoned Sheep, made Cross Sheep, activated Fright for Fusion, Special Summon Well, gain Well's effect to get a monster. I'd be a monster short. Yeah. But I could make Opelosa and a True King. Unfortunately, I can't make Opelosa and a True King. So, uh, two Cruel Well to my side of the field. And uh, of course, Cruel Well number two will use its effect to send that other Fright for Repair, just preparing myself for later turns. And now it looks like I'm going to use both Fright for Cruel Wells to be able to make that true king of all calamities. This is easily one of my favorite monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! because it just says win the game. It's going to be up to you, TJ. But does it? Yeah, it does. But does it? It does. So you're going to activate it here, and then we're going to see what happens. Okay, what do you mean? Hold on. Is this that game? Bum, bum, bum. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to use the effect of true king of all calamities. And... Whoa! All right, I'm getting sick of it. Bro, what? you're not supposed to do it! <laughs> Wow. So here I'm gonna go solo recharge for that wolf. I'm gonna draw my two and I'm gonna send that trick clown. Oh my god. What is my going on? Just send the wolf. So just just send the 7, wolf. I'm gonna 7,000 life points here. And what do I do next? Well, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You have monster effects this turn. Charge the light brigade. Oh my god. How do you open charge the light brigade and solar recharge, bro? Because I play sax worm, bro. Rigged. rigged. <laughs> <laughs> every 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 time someone wins, it's rigged, it's guys. Rigged. If, if, if the Cali effect doesn't win, it's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I'm gonna grab this Raiden because truly I need to get into my Halky boy, and I had no other tuners I wanted to use. So if I asked to charge, you would have lost. Probably. Oh, wow. Too bad you don't play charge. Or charge. I, I don't play charge, but... No, no, I play charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll charge it to... Guess what? What, what is... Least no, the Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Well, you can't go full combo with the O-Line now, Greg. But, but you get a Felice. That's fine. I'm not going to use the O-Line for his token. Put the Felice. But you're going to see what's going to happen with this O-Line in about two seconds. You're trash, bro. Okay. <laughs> Wait till you see what happens with the O-Lion. What was gonna happen with the O-Lion? I'm gonna go into Hockey Boy. You, you, didn't, you didn't do nothing with the O-Lion. Exactly, that's my point. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> and there's that second one. <laughs> oh, okay, so I do have a response with Edgem Scythe, fusing Fluffle Cat and Scythe to be able to special summon my third copy of Fright for Cruel Well. Um, I wanna target Hulk with this. I don't think you're gonna be able to, you know, play that play that Yu-Gi-Oh card game you wanted to play. I'm gonna play that Yu-Gi-Oh card. You're not I'm gonna, gonna play that Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. You can't play through multiple disruptions again. You're like, see, you've been underestimating me this entire time. But yes. you don't see what's happening. I, I'm not gonna lie, I have. I have. Right. So Fright for Cool Well will activate its effect. It'll target himself, and then it'll target the Huck the Fibrix this time. And I'm okay with that. And I'll protect it with. You're not supposed to be okay. I'll protect <laughs> it. With that fright for Scythe, and I'll be able to add polymerization due to Fluffle Cat's effect. So here I'm just uh, going through my graveyard, looking at how much of an advantage I have over this guy, and seeing what's next. Oh, there goes a Raiden, and Valkyria. I... So you're gonna make Borlo Savage Dragon, or are you gonna risk it for the biscuit? I think I risk it for the biscuit, but I'm contemplating here. If you risk it and you get something good, I quit Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, right, Savage. there, Borlo Savage, good. Good, because <laughs> I mean that. I'm gonna attach the Hockey Boy, obviously, because two counters. Who doesn't want two counters? Yeah, so I, I like the cool situation that I'm still in though, because you can attack over my fight for Cruel Well and force to negate with the Borlo yeah, Savage yeah, Dragon. Yeah, just wait. What, let me finish, bro. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> but I would still have True King of All Calamities on the field. What are you doing? I am banishing for I believe it is Levy and Near, or it's got to be Levy and Near because I'm going for three. It's not me, man. Oh, it's me, but <laughs> it's, it's it's not it's me. Past me. It's playing, literally bro. It's not future me, bro. I hate past you. <laughs> I Levy hate past you. going to activate in order to destroy, and since calamity is no longer activated, it's going to get through, and it's going to destroy both your crew whale and your calamities to allow me to talk attack over your unprotected doggo. Hey, doggo was the protection, bro. <laughs> doggo was protected calamity. Bad doggy. Well, it looks like he's going to go to his fine place in heaven with those wings. <laughs> He's not in heaven. He just had a few yeah. Red Bulls. <laughs> a few Red Bulls? <laughs> he had a few Red Bulls. Oh, those Red Bulls are going to get him to heaven. So well, All dogs go to heaven, right? He'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. No, he'll be all right. He'll be good. <laughs> no doggo. So I'm going to attack over with Boro Savage. And Levianir obviously cannot attack because it used its effect this turn. So I have pass. a really good hand. So, like, I know I have polymerization. I'm going to go ahead and... F I have the Imperial Order. I... I'm sorry. 
I wish you could see the face. I wish they could see the face I'm giving you. I wish they could too. Actually, they they will see the face I'm giving you. <laughs> I'm on rematch. You still upset, bro? Yeah, I'm still upset. It's not my fault. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's past me's fault, not future me. Whatever. Present, future. You tell me what it is. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know if there's anything you want to add on to I it. I want a rematch. You, you want to re? I want a rematch. You can get this rematch, but you're going to get scraped. You know how this goes. Do you really want to go down that road? All right. So anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Join our Discord, subscribe, like, comment, do all that good stuff, and have a great night. My man's really just punked me on my own channel. <laughs>